In this video, we give a two categorical structure on the categories of monad lifts and monad extensions by describing the transformations. The transformation in the category of monad lifts from morphism p tilde p to p prime tilde p prime consists of a pair of natural transformations, alpha tilde from p tilde to p prime tilde and alpha from p to p prime such that ut alpha tilde is equal to alpha us. And the transformation from the morphism q hat q to q prime hat q prime in the category of monad extensions consists of a pair of natural transformations beta hat from q hat to q prime hat and beta from q to q prime such that beta hat ft is equal to fs beta. Note that since ut alpha tilde on component x theta is equal to alpha us on x theta, which by definition is alpha x, lifts of alpha are unique when they exist. And since beta hat x, which is equal to beta hat ftx, by definition of ft, which is equal to fs beta x, extensions of beta are unique when they exist. Therefore, we can omit alpha tilde and beta hat in the notation of the natural transformations, as we will often do. Notice that we inherit the horizontal and vertical composition of natural transformations of categories, as shown in the following diagrams. Therefore, we see that the categories of monad lifts and monad extensions are two categories, and the forgetful functors are both one and two faithful, which means that it is faithful as an ordinary functor and also faithful on HOM objects, which have a categorical structure. Recall that we gave an equivalent way of describing one morphisms in monad lifts and monad extensions, so we ask, can we find a property of alpha beta above to give transformations without an explicit construction of a lift or extension? The following results gives us a way to do this. One, in the category of monad lifts, a natural transformation alpha from p to p prime lifts to a transformation from lambda p to lambda prime p prime if and only if lambda prime t alpha is equal to alpha s lambda. And two, in the category of monad extensions, a natural transformation beta from q to q prime extends to a transformation from sigma q to sigma prime q prime if and only if sigma prime beta t is equal to s beta sigma. For the proof of one in the forward direction, we suppose that alpha tilde is a lift of alpha. We want to show lambda prime t alpha is equal to alpha s lambda. So we give the string diagram for lambda prime t alpha and use the triangle identity for fs us to arrive at p prime us epsilon s fs lambda prime s t alpha s t p eta s. Then note that since alpha tilde fs is a natural transformation, for each object x in the category f, alpha tilde fs x is a morphism in the eilenberg mohr category for the monad t. And recall that p tilde takes fs x to the eilenberg mohr object PSX with action PU epsilon S FSX lambda SX and alpha tilde FSX is equal to alpha SX since UT alpha tilde FSX is equal to alpha US FSX. Therefore alpha tilde FSX is given by the following commuting square in the category E. Then since this square commutes in the category E for each F object X, we have equality of the following composition of natural transformations and therefore we can make the substitution in the string diagram above to arrive at alpha s p mu s lambda s t p eta s. Then by the triangle identity for f s u s again, we obtain alpha s lambda as desired. Conversely, we assume lambda prime t alpha is equal to alpha s lambda, and we want to show alpha lifts to a transformation. By the condition ut alpha tilde is equal to alpha u s, we are forced to define alpha tilde on component x theta to be alpha x. And therefore, it is enough to show alpha x is a morphism in the eilenberg mohr category for the monad t. Recall p tilde defined on an object x theta is p x p theta lambda x. And so alpha x is a morphism in the eilenberg mohr category for the monad t if and only if the following commutes in the category e. We see that the bottom square commutes by naturality of alpha, and the top by the assumption that lambda prime t alpha is equal to alpha s lambda. Therefore, alpha tilde is a well-defined lift of alpha, making alpha tilde alpha a transformation in the category of monad lifts. And this completes the proof for one. For two, in the reverse direction, assume sigma prime beta t is equal to s beta sigma. We want to show that the morphism beta hat on component a 
defined by fs beta a, which is forced on us by the requirement that beta hat ft is equal to fs beta, is a well-defined natural transformation from q hat to q prime hat. This means that given a morphism f in the Claisley category for the monad t, we want to show that the following square commutes in the Claisley category for the monad s. Recall that by definition, q prime hat on the morphism f is defined by epsilon s fs q prime a prime fs sigma prime a prime fs q prime f. And similarly for q hat on f, therefore the commuting condition in yellow becomes the following diagram in purple. By naturality of beta, we reduce the problem to showing that the bottom rectangle commutes. So we translate the composition in the Claisley category for the monad S into a diagram in the underlying category F. We see that the composition of the upper right triangle is sigma prime A prime, as the string diagrams demonstrate below. And also, the bottom left triangle is the identity by the unit law for the monad S. Then by the assumption that sigma prime beta t is equal to S beta sigma, we see that the diagram in the center commutes. Therefore, the purple diagram commutes, and thus the yellow diagram above commutes. Thus, beta extends to a transformation in the category of monad extensions. For the forward direction, we assume beta hat is the extension of beta. Then the following square commutes in the Claisley category for the monad S for each object A in the category E. Note that the identity morphism on TA in the underlying category F is a morphism in the Claisley category from TA to A. Then we can replace the morphism F in the purple diagram above with the identity on TA. Then we see that the yellow naturality square for the identity on TA commutes if and only if the bottom rectangle in purple commutes, if and only if the square on the right commutes. Therefore we have sigma prime beta T is equal to S beta sigma, which completes the proof. So note that we can give all the one and two categorical data for monad lifts and monad extensions entirely in terms of the base functors and natural transformations, and we do not need to work with explicit lifts or extensions.